Hello, mites. Um, so basically, Bob made this game, and uh, my cursor is hidden, by the way, so you can't really see it. But if you can, that's weird because I said it so that it, you can't see it. But whatever. Um, so basically, he made this game, Red War. Link in the description to it. Uh, it's made using a program called Scratch, which even like it's not very hard, but it's it takes a while to get used to. And stuff like that. Anyways, he made this game, and this is probably his most hardest, unforgiving game he has ever made. Um, so, I kind of made the audio, like, quiet. Uh, if it's too loud and you can't hear my voice, I'm sorry. Uh, but it took, like, a, it took quite a while, actually, to do that. So, um, whatever. Let's get to it. So, yeah, as I said before, this game is pretty hard, but since this is just the training level, you know, I'm probably not gonna die, but if I do, that would fail. Sorry, uh, dodging the enemies is easier than shooting them since you do not have to shoot them. Uh, yeah, I'll be quiet whenever they talk, um, because it's it's not really important to the story. Well, there is a storyline, but it's it's not like you know you have to know or anything. But whatever. This is the best animation ever. Yeah. So honestly, in my opinion, I don't think his bosses are very hard. It's just. That's the main reason why they're not very hard, is because they just stand around. Anyways, this doesn't work, so if you get up to this part and you're like, hey, why is it working? Just click the green flag because it's not working, and then select a different level. Select the next level. Okay, I'm probably gonna die once on this level, but whatever. But, um, anyways, yeah, sorry, I have a cold if I sniff a lot, it's, yeah, it's because of that. Uh-oh. Okay, so, yeah. He can feel it. Uh, this game is pretty, whoa, okay, I didn't die, that's weird, because you only have one life. probably gonna pop out of nowhere um what was this yeah who is the blimp i think and come on there we go okay i think this guy you actually have to kill him so let's get right there it um okay that was weird all right next level i'm zooming through these i made one recording of this but you couldn't hear my voice like at all so Now I'm warning you, on this part, I'm gonna die so much. So, so much. Okay. And if I make it through this level once, that's like, gonna be legendary. Okay. I'm guessing this middle spot is like a sweet spot. I mean, like, you, enemy is almost never coming over here. But the real sweet spot is over here, so you don't even exist anymore if you go over there. Sorry about oh whoops. Well what the heck? There we go. Told you how to spell magnificent. I have a spelling disorder though, so I can't really. Wow, okay, so I actually made that through with one thing. I made a recording early of this earlier, like I said. That was a cheap death. Sergeant negative. Oh, those things are big. I don't remember those things. Either. Oh yeah, you can kill um, enemies with one bullet if you were wondering. Two of them with one bullet. Emergency. It's a surprise attack. Whoa! Surprise attack. Uh oh. 
super full, prepare to be destroyed. And it's gonna take him like five minutes to get here, isn't it? Ah, there we go. Uh, I think you can wait this guy out, but I'm not sure. Uh, because it's like impossible, there's nowhere to go. Except for the place where you die. Yup. Okay, I'm gonna die like 50 times on this one. Same color as the clouds. Wow. Sorry about that. Oh god, I remember that. Prepare for pain. When they were first making this, it's like they were discussing it with this friend, jo Bob was, and he was talking about the final boss, and he's gonna say, Prepare for pain! They kept saying that. It got really annoying. Anyways, this guy's gonna kill me like 50 times. If I do die, I'm gonna skip the intro thing and then just cut right to me being right here though because, you know, it gets annoying after I listen to it. But, this guy is like... I tried... There we go. I got him. Whoa, jeez. I don't remember him doing that. Usually he does something else with, with his arms. Come on. But what I really don't get is how could you fake being an agent, like it being the boss of an agent, of it like an agency that called the Red, you know, the Red Agency, which is basically the CIA or FBI. That's the equivalent to it. Okay, this guy. Seriously, I can't hit him. Like, there's two of him right now, or at least it looks like it. Okay, let me try that one more time. Okay, now we're back at this point. Um, I think this guy is impossible, but, you know, that's what he intended. But last time I fought him, on the last recording, uh, he, he didn't do this. He just flailed around more, and then eventually a laser came out to shoot me. But seriously, this guy's like... It's not that he's, like, hard to stay alive, it's just hard to hit him. Seriously, come on. Come on, Mofo. Jeez. Okay, you know, I think this guy's impossible, and I might just stop this recording right here. Uh, come on. Come on. Okay, if, yeah, if I, if I die this time, I'm probably just gonna skip this recording. Oh, come on, Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, anyways, that was it for this game. I'm probably gonna do more of his games, which, they're all pretty cool, except, you know, some of them are kind of don't make any sense, like chase the poop, or avoid the poop, I don't know, something with the poop. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, hope you like this. Um, probably gonna do more. Link in the description to his thing on Scratch, and, um, yeah.